It's no secret Central Wisconsin has beautiful hunting and fishing resources, but it's easy to take it all for granted. This week's Outdoors with Lauren is a reminder to appreciate our very own Wisconsin River. Dr. Bob Schult loves to walleye fish, usually in a popular place. I like to go to Canada. But this year... Was pretty much a disaster. Never again. Now the avid fisherman is wetting a line in Wausau. We join him and hook setters fishing guide Glenn Moberg on the Wisconsin River, hoping to erase Dr. Schultz's memory of his last trip. We start out using minnows, but after a few casts, nothing. So we switch to crawlers. That's a decent walleye. It's just it's about a quarter inch short. Now we're all warmed up, and Moberg takes us to the Dubai Dam. He says the flowing water has more oxygen in it, and that's where the big fish live. Get that sucker in here. Oh, God. <laughs> that's a dandy. That is a dandy. It's 25 inch fish. Wisconsin state law says any walleye under 15 inches or over 20 must be thrown back. But the memory of the catch remains. Fantastic. Our typical day probably averages 40 to 50 fish a day. So it was, it was pretty close to a typical day. After getting skunked in Canada, Dr. Schultz says central Wisconsin is where he likes to fish now. I've got a farm in uh, Watertown, Wisconsin, but you know what? It's not like this. This is wide open. I like it. So just a friendly little reminder for everyone just to really appreciate what we have in our backyard. And there wasn't enough time in the show to show all of the fish we actually did catch that day. So Central Wisconsin beats Canada now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep, exactly. So Dr. Scholl did go up to Canada and he said that this was way better fishing. We had walleye, carp, bass, catfish. I mean, you name it. It was a little bit of everything that day. Right. Okay. Thanks, Lauren.